matter who you are or where you're from, no matter what life chose you or you chose, no matter how good or bad you think you are, just remember that you are perfect. Each and every one of you is perfect, just the way you are. Everything in creation is perfect and is happening exactly as it is supposed to. The Bible got it right when it says that man is created in the image of God, but this passage has been misunderstood by some. Source consciousness, what some people call God, can be thought of as the primary creator of everything. Source consciousness knows itself in its full divine glory, but wants to experience itself in its full divine glory. In its quest to experience itself, it created many different dimensions and universes. Within these dimensions and universes, Source Consciousness created aspects of itself for the purpose of experiencing itself. These aspects of Source Consciousness can be thought of as Oversouls. These Oversouls have the ability to create and created other souls, including you and me. This is a very brief and oversimplistic description of how we came to be. However, the point is that you are created in the image of God because you literally are God. In fact, you too have the same power of creation as your oversoul and as source consciousness. You are so much more powerful than you can possibly imagine. And you are actually using that power right now to create your own reality. How can this be? Well, most of you are doing it subconsciously and are not even aware that you are doing it. Nevertheless, you are always creating. It comes as naturally to you as breathing. There is not a moment that goes by when you are not creating. In fact, it is impossible for you to not create. The trick is to start creating your reality consciously so that you are in control of your life and not the other way around. So what happened to give you the illusion that you are not perfect? Before you incarnated into your present body, you existed in spirit form. While you existed as spirit, you knew everything. But knowing and experiencing are two very different things, and you yearned to experience what you know. It is like someone who knows everything about Mount Everest, but yearns to climb it. So before you were born, you decided what it was you wanted to experience. Some examples might be forgiveness or unconditional love, or even sadness or anger, just to name a few. Then you were born into a body and you forgot everything. Yes, that's right. You have spiritual amnesia. And you know what? It is this amnesia that allows you to experience to the fullest what you chose to experience before you incarnated into your body, including the illusion of not being perfect. If you came into the body with the knowledge of everything, then there would be no point to this existence. I'll give you an example, but first I need to explain briefly about this universe and planet Earth. The universe we live in is a universe of duality. By this I mean that everything has an opposite, good and bad, light and dark, north and south and so on. It is because of the dual nature of this universe that such a wide range of experiences are possible. You see, as you go into higher dimensions, the nature of duality becomes less and less and absoluteness becomes more and more. When I say absoluteness, I mean that you are in complete awareness and completely integrated as part of Source Consciousness. There is no separation between you or anything else. Back to Earth. On top of being a planet of duality, Earth is also a planet of free will. This means that those inhabiting Earth, including us, can do whatever we want and there can be no direct intervention from outside sources. 
That is not to say that outside sources cannot guide us or point us in the right direction of our highest good. But if we choose not to listen, they cannot interfere with our choice. As a side note, everyone on earth has spirit guides and other beings who are trying to point you in the right direction of your highest good. However, they will not and cannot interfere. The easiest way for them to communicate with you is through your feelings. So the next time you're stuck at a crossroad and not sure what to do or which way to go, just trust your feelings to guide you. So now we have a planet that exists in duality, with free will, and where the human population suffers from spiritual amnesia. This is the perfect cocktail for experiencing things that is impossible to experience in the world of the Absolute. Until duality was created, love was but a concept. Source consciousness knew what love was and that it was love, but it had no way to experience love. The instant that duality was created, so was love's opposite. Let's call it hate without which love cannot exist. So, when you exist in spirit form, you know everything, but you want to experience what you know. Let's say you want to experience forgiveness. It would be impossible to experience forgiveness in spirit form because you know that there is really nothing to forgive and you exist in complete joy. Your yearning to experience forgiveness is so great that another spirit comes to you and says, OK, so you want to know what forgiveness feels like. I'll make an agreement with you. I'll incarnate into human form a few years before you. I'll meet you at some point in your life and do the most horrible thing to you. As I'm doing this horrible thing to you, just try to remember that I love you unconditionally and I am doing this to you so you can fulfill your desire to experience forgiveness. And then you are born and as soon as you enter into a human body and are inflicted with your spiritual amnesia, the motion is set for your quest to experience forgiveness. When the time finally comes in your life and this horrible thing is done to you, it is completely up to you whether or not to forgive. It may take you several lifetimes before you finally experience forgiveness, but it is completely your choice. There is no pass or fail here. However, keep in mind that you will keep recreating the same events in your life until you have had the particular experience you set out for in spirit form. Remember that everything, and I mean everything, happens in your life because you chose it. You are the primary creator and source consciousness of your own life. You are divine and perfect just as you are. For those of you who have chosen particularly difficult lives, I implore you to try and see the higher purpose in whatever experience you're going through and reassure yourselves that there is a reason for it. For those of you that feels that nobody loves you, remember that you are more loved than you can possibly know, and that the time will come when the truth of whatever you're going through will reveal itself.